Kenaikan suku bunga acuan Amerika Serikat selama 11 kali sejak Maret 2022 ikut menaikkan suku bunga KPR. Tapi tak berarti membuat pengeluaran setiap pemilik properti meningkat juga. Namun ada dampak lain suku bunga tinggi terhadap warga pemilik rumah atau apartemen, terutama yang tak puas dengan hunian saat ini. Bank Sentral AS atau Federal Reserve telah mengindikasikan siap mempertahankan suku bunga tinggi untuk waktu lebih lama alias higher for longer. Analis menilai bagi konsumen AS secara umum ini tak berdampak banyak. Most people have long-term fixed mortgages. And they were fixed at lower rates and they're very glad about that and they're feeling lucky that they locked in a low rate and they're not going to be under any obligation to change it for a fairly long period of time. So it's not that the mortgage rates went up and the average house payment followed it immediately. Tapi suku bunga tinggi yang berimbas pada suku bunga KPR membuat warga tak semudah itu pindah rumah. When uh, mortgages were kind of stable and low, if you didn't like the neighborhood you were in and you drove past another more interesting neighborhood yesterday and you say, "Well, why don't we move over there?" You could do that without a great deal of friction without suddenly resetting yourself at a mortgage that was twice or more as high uh, as an interest rate and a monthly payment. Now, uh, if you've got a 2% mortgage locked in for 30 years, and if you were to sell and buy another house and, and go up to a 6% mortgage, that's a barrier. There's a lot of people who might like to move to a larger apartment or a different neighborhood, or, and they're now, they feel constrained from doing that because the refinancing would be very disadvantageous. Menurut National Association of Realtors, asosiasi realtor terbesar di Amerika Serikat, hanya sekitar 26 persen dari pembeli rumah sepanjang tahun adalah pembeli pertama. Ini adalah angka terendah sejak asosiasi ini mulai memantau pembelian rumah dan juga apartemen. Menurut asosiasi realtor, pukulan ganda, inflasi, dan suku bunga tinggi membuat banyak orang menunda pembelian properti pertama. Ditambah lagi sulitnya mengumpulkan uang muka alias DP sebesar 20 persen. 40 years ago, the typical first-time home buyer was 28 years old. They're essentially missing out on eight years of wealth accumulation that they could have through home ownership now that the median age is 36 years old. That's a problem, and we know that's going to impact future trades that they could have in the housing market as well. And we know that there's a smaller pool of these first-time buyers who are entering the market. There's more renters, unfortunately, who are missing out on housing wealth. Tahun ini Asosiasi Realtor Nasional mencermati kelompok baby boomers usia 58 tahun ke atas menjadi kelompok yang paling banyak jual beli rumah menyalip kelompok usia milenial 24 hingga 42 tahun. Relatif mapannya keuangan kelompok boomers dianggap berandil dalam perkembangan ini. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.